Hi, I'm Ricky, and I'm on a mission to build a net zero house. That means producing all my own electricity, ditching natural gas, and eventually producing all my own water. So the first step to this mission is going to be monitoring and understanding just how much you use. And it turns out, I just realized my house is leaking 0.28 gallons a minute, every minute, every day. Now this is what that about looks like. It might not seem like all that much. And in fact, if I put this into a five gallon bucket, it would take about 17 minutes to fill up. But you gotta remember, every minute, all day, translates to about 400 gallons, which is a huge amount. So how do I know that? Well, I installed a Flume 2 water meter, which tells me on my phone in real time how much water my house is using. And as a result, I've realized when everything is turned off, I'm using 0.28 gallons per minute. That's better. So now I gotta go figure out where that's happening because I'm hoping it's not under my foundation, under the house. It could be any of these irrigation lines. I don't know. But let's go figure out how I can turn that off and save 400 gallons a day. So the brilliant part about the Flume 2 is that it's really easy to install. You don't have to have a plumber, you don't have to cut pipes or anything else. It's just two parts. This is the bridge. This is what communicates to your Wi-Fi. So in the garage, I have it next to my Eero, Wi-Fi access point, and this is what does communications to send the information to your phone. Let's go look at the other part to this. So the second part is the actual meter, which is installed. It's really just laid on top of your actual water meter. Here in California, our houses don't usually have basements, so they're in the front of the house under a little section here marked water meter. So once you take that apart, you'll see there it is. And that's how simple the installation actually is. There's some grasshoppers in here. They weren't there before. But installation really is as simple as placing it like this with all the included straps to your water meter. So for a full step-by-step -step guide on the installation process, check out our website. We'll have a link in the description. But here's the basic premise. You open the box, get the app on your phone, and on the bridge and on the meter, there'll be a QR code. You scan those, it'll link the two together. And then the tricky part that I had some trouble with was hooking up the bridge to my internet network. So you noticed I had that Wi-Fi access point in the garage and it wouldn't detect it and pick it up from there. So what I did is I went to the main access point near the modem and I tried it again, set it up all from there and then I moved it into the garage and it was fine. So that was the one trouble I had getting it all set up. But other than that, it was pretty straightforward. So great, now you can track how much water you're using, but why should you care? Why does it matter, right? Part of what I wanna do in this series is really focus on the why of it. Well, for us, there's a couple of things. If you look around, I have a lot of yard. If I had a leak somewhere, I wouldn't really know until my water bills came in. And that's exactly what happened for me. Cause after a couple of days of running with the application, it told me you have a water leak. And so here you can check on the screen. It'll tell you exactly what's going on. Um, the Wi-Fi here is not great. Okay. so. Here, you can see exactly what's going on. The spikes are normal. That would be like flushing a toilet, running a sink, the usual stuff. But that baseline is not zero, which means that every second of every day, water is leaving my property and I don't know why, right? And actually, as I was filming this video, I might have found one of the culprits. If you look over here, you'll notice that the ground is pretty dry everywhere else, but right here, it's wet. And I noticed it was wet yesterday too. So, I got, and tight here and I can actually hear water gushing out. So this is one of our water leaks. Yeah, you can just kind of tell it's wet and kind of, you know, kind of soggy back there. Also by using the app and trying to figure out what's going on, I found I have a leaky toilet. So we'll fix that, we'll take care of this and we'll see if we can get it down to zero. All right, so here is leak number one. Let's see if you can hear this. You hear that? So I flushed the toilet, first of all, and the data looks like about 2.75 gallons. So almost, almost three gallons for the flush. That's why modern toilets have the dual mode where you can do a half flush for pee pee and a full flush for number twos. But this one doesn't have that and it uses almost three gallons per flush. Interesting. But let's see what's going on here. So you hear that, right? Okay. Was it just that simple? All right, so it looks like the valve is all okay. I just turned this down a little and it doesn't appear to be doing it now. All right, let's see if we can identify this next problem. This one right here. 
this head might just have to be replaced. So we shut off the irrigation leak that we know about and I've let a couple of minutes go by and you can see before we had a leak rate of 0.28 gallons a minute and now we're down to 0.13 which is a 0.15 gallon per minute reduction but we we do still have an issue and if you're wondering like how accurate is this or is it actually right you can open up your water meter and take a look so if you look here that blue dial is the smallest increment of water usage and you can tell it's spinning so I think the flume is dead on and I think we still have an issue to figure out. So maybe next we check out every single faucet and toilet and well, the yeah. Yeah, let's go check out some more stuff, see if we can find it. All right, by the way, now that we're doing a lot more video series that are really relatable to you and things you can do around your house, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of my team. This is Brim, he's one of our video editors. He's our newest video editor, I believe, second newest. And he's gonna be helping us with stuff like this. Also, there's Juan, who I think you've probably maybe seen before. Juan, get over here. He's our editor in chief. He's the man behind all the camera work and also just general video style and direction and stuff. There he is. So the three of us are gonna tackle some of this stuff because I'm not gonna act like I did all this work myself. We got a team and it's gonna take all of us to do some of the things that we have planned. So, uh, all right, Brim, let's see, you're up. Let's see if you can fix this. The crazy part is I can track his progress minute by minute as he's doing this. I still see water coming out right now, right? Yeah. Any, are they all tightened down now? Yeah, they're all tightened down. And it's still leaking it's quite still a bit. From down here. Is there anything else we can do with this one? Short uh, of changing it? All right, so the valves just arrived. Uh, it's a little late, but um, I mean, you can't control when they arrive. Uh, link in the description if you need one, I guess. I don't know why you would, they're pretty generic. But anyways, uh, Brim is over here, Brim. Yeah, uh, we are installing it. it. There's no more sunlight, unfortunately, but uh, we thought we'd get it done today. But before we conclude this, I wanted to do a calibration test to see how accurate this thing was. So I went to my main water meter and shut it off. And as soon as I did, the water usage for two minutes dropped to completely zero, which means this thing is pretty dang accurate. I'm, I'm blown away. Also, more good news, we figured out the three sources of the leak. 0.04 gallons per minute was leaking out of our guest bathroom. Then 0.15 gallons per minute were leaking out by those two sprinkler heads near the fence. And we found culprit number three. I found the little shut off valve here, I turned it off. And you can see for the past 10 minutes, we are consuming zero water. So we went from a 0.28 gallon per minute leak to zero. Again, I wanna just emphasize 0.28 gallons you think it's just a drop, right? How bad can it be? Let me tell you, 0.28 gallons per minute is 16.8 gallons per hour or 403 gallons per day. If you're a data nerd like me and you like to see how your home is using energy and water and things, this thing is so freaking cool. And when you're off on a road trip away, no matter where you are in the world with the internet connection, it'll notify you if there's ever a leak. And now that I have a better sense of a zero point I can actually set the leak detection to 0.1, and if it ever gets to 0.1, it'll let me know you have a leak again. I can go find what was going on. So let me show you something real quick. This was the culprit here. I think this head was, first of all, this main joint was not fully tightened down, so we got that sorted out. Next, we're gonna add a little Teflon tape to this section here. There is a, there is a gasket that looks a little pinched. I don't know if this is going to help or not, but let's, let's find out. That's probably good. All right. So we got some Teflon tape on there and let's tighten this back down. What do you think, Brim? What are the odds this will work? 50% chance that it will work. Since the gas gets pinched up. Yeah, the gas gets not in the best of shape. Um, okay. All right, you want to do the honors and flip that back on? Let's turn the water back to this circuit on. And I think we're holding. Before, you can see an active drip, and you can see how wet the ground is. The really good news is I don't have any leaks in my house, inside the walls, above the attic, in the foundation or anywhere else. 
that's really what I was worried about. I was worried that I'd have some pinhole leak somewhere that's been leaking and eroding my foundation. Because again, I've only been here for six months. When I got the home inspection report, those are only a couple hours long. They don't really get into the weeds of all this sort of stuff. But dude, look at that. I had a little rush of 0.35 gallons as the line re-energized. That was all the, you know, the pressure just building back up. But I think we're back to zero. So let's wrap this up with a conclusion. After three full days of testing, I found all my leaks. And now I'm at zero. First of all, I gotta tell you, this app and the Flume system is incredibly accurate. When I turned the water meter off at the source, it read zero. And every little leak and everything else, it detected really accurately. So on that front, this gets the highest recommendation for me. So I will say, if you are renting your house out or you travel a lot, there are other probably better options for you, ones that have a close-off valve attached to it. So this is just monitoring. If there's a huge leak, it'll send you a push notification no matter where you are in the world with an internet connection, but it won't turn it off for you. There's other systems like this one from Moen, and we'll put links on the website to all these products that will actually shut it off for you. So if you Airbnb your house, you travel often, or you rent it out to people, whatever the case might be, that might make more sense for you. But for me, this is more than sufficient. So let me show you some data now that I've had it. You'll see here, uh, look at the month, okay. I installed it on the 11th. That's why I have no data before that. And as soon as I did, you'll see the average was around 600 and 10, 620 or so. And I thought, well, that's how much water we use. I mean, we do have a pool and watering irrigation and taking showers and stuff. I thought that just might be where we're at. But it turns out yesterday, Thursday, we fixed all the leaks and I took one full day to see how much water we use with all the leaks figured out. And just like I calculated, the 400 gallon number was exactly right. We're now down to 230 gallons per day, a 400 gallon reduction. $90 over the course of a month. What's funny is when the bars get smaller, it's actually harder to click the button, but that's a little UI thing. All right, now we're looking at 1.8 to 2.4 gallons when nothing really much is happening. And at 8 a.m. there was a shower, 16 gallons. At 3 p.m. my wife and her kids took showers, 37 gallons, which is okay. But let's dig in to 5 a.m. And if you notice, look at this, 0.6 gallons at 6 a.m. I think maybe my kids were waking up. But by and large, a bunch of zeros. We are now at zero usage when all the units are turned off. So this application has some cool features. For example, I can go to settings and establish some rules. So for example, there's a high flow rate alert. If five gallons per minute or more is detected for 15 minutes, it'll send me a push notification. And there's also the leak detection. And what that does is look for any usage that lasts for over two hours. And it'll, it'll tell you possible leak detected. You can make your own rules as well based on your numbers. Like for example, if you know you have a leak or you know something uses water all the time, you can set the numbers to where you want it and it'll notify you. And I'm just completely blown away. I'm saving 400 gallons of water a day. When I started this project, I didn't even know about this. And that water was just being wasted on plants that didn't need it. In fact, there was a lot of bugs and flies and mosquitoes growing in that really damp area, which is not what I wanted. So as a result now, I've got that all cleaned up and now I actually know my usage, which is closer to 200. And the days when the lawn sprinklers run, it'll be higher. But here's the thing. Now that I know what my usage is, I can figure out how to offset it. First and foremost, my next project for water, which will be probably a couple of months from now, is gonna be a gray water system. So what I'm gonna do is divert all the bathroom sinks and showers to a receptacle where I can pump that gray water onto the lawn. So I'm gonna have to go switch over to a soap that's more friendly for lawns and things. And it'll be a little bit of plumbing and sewage work. It'll be tricky. But once I do, my goal is to use no net water for the lawn. It'll just be water that I would have wasted before. And long term, my plan is to dig a well over there and to get a water from air capture system. So that's the long term picture. And now that I know my data, I can figure out exactly how many gallons a day I need to produce. So let's look at our first step into the water conservation effort. This doesn't just save us money, but here in San Diego, it saves us a ton of water. If you looked at the 40 million people who live in California, how many of them have leaks? Probably a fair bit. So I'm super pumped that I was able to figure all this stuff out. And it was actually really quickly. And if you figure that this unit cost about $180, you get $20 off, by the way, if you use our affiliate link, which we'll have on our website. 
you could pay yourself back for us in just two months, which is pretty spectacular. And the best part is if an irrigation head in the future goes bad and starts leaking, I'll know right away and I can jump on it and fix it. Visibility into what you're doing is one of my favorite things and it'll be a recurring theme here on the channel. So thank you for watching. If you guys liked it, we'll have complete installation instructions, data, all of our usage statistics and everything else on our website, which we'll link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week on the Earthship series.